All right. Basic training. Uh, Billy Bloom, uh, you mentioned in a throwback clip that you would only perform for the troops in the Middle East if you went through basic training and was taught how to kill a man. Well, at least how to shoot a fucking gun. That's like my fear. I'm going into a fucking war zone and God forbid it gets overrun by a bunch of lunatics and my bodyguard takes one for me and he's laying on the ground and there's his weapon and I'm like, I don't know how to work this. <laughs> Standing there like Bob Hope with a fucking putter. You know, I, I just, you know, I know, and they always say this shit too. We've never lost anyone. In all the wars that we fought, we've never lost anyone. It's just like, dude, that's just like saying my, you know what? My car's running great. You don't say shit like that. Anyways, he said, was wondering if if that's as true as it was when you said it in 2008, I believe. You're in better shape these days, and perhaps so is the Middle East. Uh, love you, love Nia. Um Nah, yeah, I think at this point, you know, look, dude, when I saw over there, like, when I was first thinking that, that was back, you know, when shit was really bad and, like, contractors, you know, would had a rock in their shoe and they would stop for half a second to get it out and then they just disappeared and then the next thing you know, they're getting their heads sawed off, you know, I mean, what a fucking way to go. I mean, Jesus Christ. You know what I mean? And I've also, one one thing, I've, one of the reasons why I've been, any success that I've had in life is I've always understood what I suck at, okay? And I know I am not a Marine. You can give me the camouflage shit, you know, the dumb shit when people go out and go fucking uh, do shows for the troops and they take pictures of you sitting in a jet or like in a fucking tank and you're wearing a helmet, you know, and for half a second your ego's, I could do this. No, you can't do that. It takes a special person to be able to do that. And I know that's not me. Um, Actually, to really be honest with you, I wouldn't want to go through basic training because I am a fucking lunatic to begin with. And the last thing I need to do is dehumanize any more people in my fucked up brain. (laughs) Um... Yes, I, I am afraid of, of you know, to, to go down that rabbit hole of how fucking, how nuts am I, okay? I like to feel that I'm a mainstream psycho, you know? It's kind of like my drinking. Like, I know I drink way too much, but I, I have it under control. But I know a couple of circumstances, well, I'm too, I'm too vain to drink myself to death, but I could, I could definitely, uh, you know, I, I know enough not, I knew enough not to fuck with hard drugs Um, because I saw what they did to, you know, like everybody. I think everybody in my country at this point at at the, for, I I hate to say it, at this point you've, you've lost somebody to that. I've lost uh, two people, two friends of mine outside of comedy. And then uh, obviously a number of comedians to that type of shit. And um, both, friends of mine and then comics that I I was fans of and that type of shit. So I always knew not to fuck with that stuff. But as far as going over there, yeah, I I would definitely do that. I would definitely um, do something like that. But, you know, when it was really fucking crazy over there, and the comics were telling me they they had to do those military landings where you're like at 38,000 feet and a minute later you're on the ground. You know? I mean, it's it's scary enough landing in San Diego. (laughs) I don't need somebody possibly shooting at me. Um, yeah, and I'm just being fucking honest, you know what I mean? So, uh, but at this point, yeah, no, I, I, I wouldn't have a problem. Oh, Jesus. If I ever fucking go over there and something happens to me and they play this fucking audio, you know, they're going to do it and all those fucking things. Um, yeah, you know, going to war is, is, it's no, that's the real deal. And I know I don't have that in me. Fucking go over there with a Hawaiian shirt. Hey, isn't that something? Going over there with whoever the Marilyn Monroe is of the day. And she's out there singing, you know, happy birthday, Mr. General, or whatever the fuck goes. I have no idea what happens on those shows. But um, I know, like, like fucking Artie Lang went to, like, Artie Lang went into this shit in, like, Afghanistan. Like, fucking, like, crazy. You would never catch me doing that. That guy's got more balls than, than I would ever have. No. Um, but yeah, I'll go to the big base that already has a Best Buy on it. I'll go to that one. 
whatever military base over there that already has a monorail, I'll, I'll go to that one. Maybe like an Orange Julius. I'll check that one out. But I, I, I would definitely do it without a doubt.